There is all this talk within the human design community that projectors can only work three hours per day and they have limited energy. And a lot of projectors don't resonate with that. Well, in this video, I really wanna break down a specific type of projector, which is an energy projector. This means that you either have the root the ego or the solar plexus defined or colored in within your chart. I want to point out that you might have all three centers colored in within your chart, which means that you have quite a bit of energy as a projector. This is going to be extremely different than mental projectors. So you need to be really cautious of what you learn online about not having energy and learn how to experiment with it, which is what we're talking about in this video. I'm going to be breaking down the nuances to be able to distinguish between between what is one of the motors that you have access to versus sacral energy. Because when people refer to projectors and say, oh, projectors don't have energy, what they're really referring to is that we do not have sacral energy. By the end of this video, you are going to have clarity on how to experiment with the energy that you do have access to so that you can still use it and not make yourself wrong for it, but also still avoid the burnout that can come from acting upon that sacral energy. I'm Amanda Horvath and I am a 4-1 projector. On this channel, I help you share your authentic message with the world in a way that aligns with your unique design. So if you are interested in being authentic and making money online by doing that, be sure to subscribe. And if you're brand new to human design, be sure to watch my quick start guide to human design linked in the description below. I wanna first start by distinguishing what sacral energy is. Now, sacral energy comes from generators, which is 70% of the population, so you're going to have consistent access to this energy. The founder of human design often referred to projectors as super slaves because they take in this energy, they think it's theirs, and then they go, 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 and they don't know when to stop. Because when you don't have this defined, the question you're meant to ask yourself to understand whether you're acting on someone else's energy or your own, is do I know when enough is enough? And often the answer is no. We're really meant to be off the hamster wheel looking at others that are on it and guide them in using their energy better so that they can have more joy and satisfaction in life and really be able to accomplish the things in this world that need to get done. But if you're running on the hamster wheel, you can't do that. This can especially be confusing when you have one of the other roots defined. So now let's dive into what these other roots are so that you can begin to distinguish between what is energy that you do have access to within your body versus this sacral energy of not knowing when enough is enough. Let's start with root energy. If you have this center defined, then you are someone that has adrenalized energy moving through your body. The best way to think about this is like a shot of espresso. It is something that when it comes on, you have great access to it, but then over time there's going to be a crash and you need to rest when that crash happens. So paying attention to when you have adrenaline pumping through your body can be really helpful for you. Now how this energy shows up is going to be dependent on what channel you have. It might be pressure to correct through the 1858. It could be pressure to fight for purpose and meaning in life through the gate 38. It could be pressure to rise up which is gate 54. You can see all of the options on the screen now in order to begin to distinguish what kind of pressure you have in your life and how that adrenalized energy is going to show up for you. Another important thing to know with the root is that this pressure that can build up in your body needs to be pushed out of your body through exercise, really. It could be walking, it could be running, it could be working out, it could be dancing, but you shouldn't be constantly exercising because that can be very dangerous on your system. So there's a difference between this constant energy that is the sacral coming into your body versus the root which has spurts of energy. If you have the root defined, head on down to the comment section below and share your experience of it. I really want the comment section to be an additional resource for those that are watching this video. Emotional energy. The next type of energy comes from a defined solar plexus, and this is emotional energy. It is going to be being in the mood for something or not in the mood for something. Often it can show up like that, or having the energy to have an argument and confront someone else. It once again is going to very much depend on the channel that you have defined in this center of how it's going to show up for you. If you don't have the 
emotional energy for something, you don't have the emotional energy for it. It's not gonna be a consistent thing that you can call upon. You might be at the low point of your emotional wave where you're experiencing pain or loneliness or whatever the emotion is that you're experiencing and you don't have the energy to push through to finish that project that you might be working on or to hang out with your friends. Whatever it is that is coming into your awareness in that moment in time, you might not have energy for it and that's okay. So you can begin to see once again how that is very different than the sacral energy that just can go, 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 assuming that they're doing something that they love doing. One tip if you do have this solar plexus defined is that you're going to need to sleep on your decisions. This is where your authority in human design is going to come from so that you can determine what is right for you and what is not right for you. This is so important if you have this center because if you don't know anything else in human design, this really is the one key to being able to unlock lock your design and experience more success in life because as a projector that is what you are here for my friends ego energy the ego is the center for self-esteem as well as willpower the best way to think about willpower is when you say i will do x y and z right that's i'm willing to do something and that willingness isn't always there to draw upon. You really pride yourself on following through on the things that you say you're going to do. But once you follow through on something, you might not have the energy to follow through on the next thing. That is very different than sacral energy, which is has the ability to consistently go, that hamster wheel that keeps running. So if you have this defined in your chart, you need to understand what it feels like to really rest and to replenish this energy within your chart. Does this resonate? Head to the comment section below and share your story. Because after all, as projectors, the more we know the other, the more we know ourselves. If you happen to be a business owner watching this video and you're in business for yourself as a projector, then be sure to watch this video next where I walk through how to use your energy in business without burning out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.